Hello everyone. Uh, this is a uh, um, 48 inch uh, Crompton Greaves high re ceiling fan. Uh, here's the tag. Shoot. Here's the tag. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit for what it was. What it was before. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was in a smoker's house. This is an Encon High Breeze by Crom uh, Crompton Greaves. Encon Crompton Greaves High Breeze ceiling fan. Uh, I'm not sure the model. Uh, not the model, but the, the date on this. I couldn't find any date anywhere in this fan. I'm guessing somewhere around the 80s. Uh, I don't know how to convert, uh, I don't have the calculator with me right now, but uh, it's a, uh, 10, uh, 10, 50 centimeters, centimeters. so maybe 48, I don't know. Uh, it's um, controlled right now on a four speed controller on the wall, which I have right here. Uh, yeah, this is the only controller I could have that would kind of work on this. Anyway, we'll start off on the lowest setting. This is the low, low. This thing is really cool. Um, right now it's probably one of my favorite fans in my collection for now. Then I'll just probably change it up. There's always gonna be something new popping up that I'll like. But uh, this fan is something I've been looking for for quite a while now. Uh, not. I was not, not a specific finish. I was looking for more like the 56 inch one or the 58 inch one, uh, but this works too. This is close to what I wanted to get. Uh, the one I wanted to get was something like this, just a 58 inch version. So this is slightly bit bigger, but this works too. This is a, this is a pretty cool fan. It's pretty fast, low. Maybe with a variable, if I ever get a variable speed, I'll definitely control it with that. Closer to the fan. And this does have a cool start of sound and the pitch, and the weights have good pitch too to them. And the reason I put it up here is because I can't mount it on the uh, on the garage door area thing where I usually test my fans because uh, this thing has a lot of torque and the mean bracket I had for that uh, broke because of all the torque it, this thing has. Anyway, we'll go to speed number two. Let me see here. Now this is where stuff's kind of started getting a little bit more serious. You can kind of, I don't know if you can hear, but the motor's kind of humming right now. It does have a startup sound too, which is really cool. And I do feel the breeze. It's and this is like the medium low, so it's it's blowing a good amount of air on the speed. It will only get more serious from from now on. Once I turn this thing on medium high, it's it's when it actually starts getting pretty fast. So we'll go here medium high. Is this medium high or is this high speed? This is, nope, it's medium high. And now we'll go to high speed. I 
like, yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> that is really powerful. These things are insane, especially the little 28 inch ones. Those things sound like high velocity fans, like those floor high velocity fans, but now they're on a ceiling with no grill, which is insane. If this thing fell on you, you definitely, you can get some pretty deep cuts, I, I bet. But the only issue now is the spin down, which again, you guys already know I'm not great with spin downs. But anyways, this is spin down. I'm not really like, uh, what's the word? Patient. But you guys know, uh, you, you probably, I don't know, some a lot, a lot of you guys like spin downs for some reason, but whatever. And this thing has good bearings too, surprisingly. It's like really well uh, covered, the bearings, so nothing's gonna get to them. Like, and yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't even wobble, really. It's, it's a really good fan. <laughs> Long spin down. <laughs> Almost there. Ah, almost. And there you guys have it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.